Hello my friends and welcome back to my painted channel. In this video I'm going to show you a really quick little tip. So this is something that I figured out uh, a couple of days ago. Uh, we were looking around. I've got this um, really great wet palette here. So I have a Masterson's wet palette and I've used this quite a bit and I absolutely love using this. And people often ask, is a wet palette really as good as people make them out to be? And the shortest answer is yes, simply they are. They're fantastic. They not only uh, make uh, the paints stay wet for longer so that they don't dry up. So this allows you to come back to palette that you've been using and a color set that you've been using but they're also really good for allowing you to thin down your paints in a very easy and sort of um sort of nice smooth fashion as well it's very 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 simple so when you place sort of just a little blob of paint onto your wet palette this allows the paint to stay a lot longer and be used a lot longer and again you can come back and forth to projects then without having to worry about say if you've mixed two colors together you know you could have mixed your two grays together as an example and then worry about how you're going to get that exact sort of mix back well you don't have to you can just put the top back on the wet palette and you can come back to it at a later stage but this particular wet palette I absolutely love. I've used this for a while. It is my favorite, but the problem I've got is I've used it so much my sponge has kind of died on it. So my sponge has had a really, really bad time. So I'll just remove my uh, sheet here a sec. And the sponge on the bottom has had a little bit of a beat in over the years. As you can see, I've got a few holes in it and things like that. So this is from the sponge drying out and needing to be wet again or uh, sort of reapplied with water. Now, me being silly, I went and decided to take a look online to see about getting some replacement sponges for this. And this is why I say me being silly is because I went to the local store with my wife who wanted to pick up some cleaning supplies. And she said to me, why do you want to look at sort of sponges for a wet palette or buying sponges from the direct wet palette company when you could just use a normal sort of sponge? So I got schooled by my wife in the art of saving money purely because this cost me a pound and this gives me four different sponges. And with these, you can cut these to fit and all things like that. I'll just open this and show you. So you should be able to cut this to any size. Sorry about the rustling. But these are very, very close to perfect. And that's all it is. I have four of these in a pack for a pound. Now I know some of you may be thinking, this is old news, Dan. You are way off the pace. Uh, but this is so different and so new to me that I thought it would be great to share this little bit of info with you. So yeah, if you're looking at, or if you have a wet palette and you're thinking about changing or upgrading your sponge, or if your sponge has had a bit of a beating over the years, then it is a very easy and quick thing to replace just using normal uh, sort of sponge cloths, which um, like I say, although that sounds daft, was really, really new to me. So I thought I'd share this great tip with you, but I can't take full credit for this because this was my wife's idea. Something else on the other hand is when you are using your wet palette, which is great, don't worry too much about the paper that you can get for the wet palette, because although the wet palette paper is great, what I've been using is baking parchment paper. Now this is really, really good stuff. So this is a um, anti-stick mat that you would normally bake things like cookies and things like that on again this is very 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 cheap to pick up this is so easy to pick up you can pick it up in your local stores as well so very very easy to find very easy to pick up and very easy to use and once you get this onto the palette um, this allows the paint then to move uh, smoothly and easily off this parchment because it doesn't stick and again it allows the paint to last a lot longer now i'll do a quick jump cut here and i'll show you when i've got everything all together and the wet palette up and running and i'll kind of show you what i mean with the paints in just a sec And there we go, quick jump cut complete, and this is the wet palette. So as you can see, we've got this nice new sponge and then this little parchment paper. And the parchment paper is great because you get these little bubbles of paint and things like that that will sit on there. And that's fantastic because this will allow us to place the paint onto the palette and use some of these little blobs of water then to thin down our paints and keep the paints lasting a lot longer and things like that. It's really, really cool very quick and easy way to sort of uh, paint your models or keep your paints lasting longer rather and that's all i've done is just cut a small part of this 
baking parchment to fit. I've sucked the sponge then, not too much because I don't want too much water in the palette, just enough that it creates a little bit of surface tension. And I did the parchment on top just like so, and this has created this really cool little uh, set here. Now I'll show you quickly what I mean with the paint. Here. As you can see, we've just got a little blob of our Deep Azure, which is a fantastic name for a paint. Very, very regal indeed. And there you go. You can see just by adding a little bit of paint onto the palette, it blends quite nicely. This is exciting. It's like having a brand new wet palette all over again for the sake of two pounds. Sponges baking parchment jobs are good and looks fantastic and it looks perfect there you go we can see just how smooth and simple the paint transitions off the parchment and off our wet palette as well and there we go yeah i just thought i'd share that little tip with you guys i don't want the video to be too long i don't want to take up all of your time listening to me ramble on about sponge cloths and parchments and things like that. It was just a cool little tip. And as I said, I can't take full credit for it because a big part of this was my wife's idea as well. So yeah, if you already knew about this, that's fantastic. If you didn't, this is a cool little tip and something just really quick to, uh, to give you an idea as to how you can sort of prolong the life of your wet palette and not have to go and spend loads and loads and loads of money on different parts of equipment as well. If you found this helpful and informative, then please give me a thumbs up. Uh, all those little thumbs up always add and help the channel to grow and progress and as always i appreciate your time your input um, and everything you do here so yeah thanks very much guys i hope this helps you out and i hope it saves you a couple of quid in the long run thanks a lot take care take care take care thanks 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 thanks, thanks.